I'm going to tell you a little story about how I discovered a smart car. It was at the Washougal Regional. Everyone have a seat. This might take a minute. One of Lillian's all-time favorite additions that we made to the Super Mini is her smart car. I'll let her explain from the rider's perspective a little bit later what she likes about it, but from a MotoDad perspective, carburetors are a pain in the butt. They're super finicky, elevation affects them, the temperature affects them, sometimes the time of the month affects them, and there's so many different adjustments that you can make inside the carburetor with, with the jet and the needle, raise the clip, lower the clip. It's crazy that in 2023, almost 2024, the carburetors are not made where you can simply adjust them on the outside. All the stock carburetors, you have to pull them apart and make adjustments on the inside. It's annoying, especially now the car Carburetors are like really tucked in on the other side of the frame and they're a pain in the butt to get to. Let me clean this thing up a bit. Choke, simple, easy to get to, unlike some carbs. Idle adjustment, no tool needed. Clickers right here. Right is richer, left is leaner. It's like so simple, it's genius. The one disadvantage is the cost, or at least it, it appears that way at first. These things are not cheap. The initial investment starts at about $700, but think about this. It doesn't leak gas if you're laying it over to wash your bike, or if you crash, you're unconscious for, for a, a few minutes. The bike's not dumping out all this fuel. Think about it this way. It's gonna cost you $700 to make the purchase. It'll save you $7,000 in fuel costs over the lifetime of your bike. That is not a joke. That is a natural fact. Another thing that you should know is that every single bike requires a different carburetor. So when you go to the website to buy one, it's gonna ask you what bike you're riding, any modifications that your bike has so they can make a recommendation and make sure they get you the best carburetor for your bike. Lillian is dangerously close to moving up to a big bike or so she thinks. This carburetor is not going to work on her 125, but we are gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it and Luke's gonna inherit it along with this super mini. So we'll get lots more life out of this carburetor. Hey, we can, like Mason can use it too when, uh, when he moves up to a super mini. We tested out a smart car kind of on accident. Lillian was having bike problems and to troubleshoot it, we borrowed a carburetor from somebody else, from Isla, and instantly she fell in love with it. She loved the way that it reacted. It, it was crisper, it uh, responded faster, and ultimately we had to get one for ourselves. We got the SC2. It not only looks great, but it is super easy to put on. It's convenient to adjust. The smart carb has one hose, which in my opinion looks way better than the chaotic looking stock carb, which has like a million hoses. And it performs way better than the stock carb. The typical day in the life of a moto dad. You get to the track, it's race day. Kid goes out for morning practice, comes back, my bike's bogging. Dad, there's a bog. It's bogging. I can't ride it. The thing is, the thing won't go. You get the bike on the stand. Let's see if there's any, any jets that are plugged. Moto One's about to start. You end up stripping the screws because you can't find the right screwdriver. You bust your knuckles open trying to use some pliers. You end up chucking the pliers, kicking your dog, and then your wife leaves with some dude on an Alta. I've seen it happen a million times. For your kid's sake, for your dog's sake, do yourself a favor, save your marriage and get yourself a smart carb. Lillian pulls off the track. She's like, dad, I hit the double after the downhill. I was like, good job. She's like, go film. And so now that's what I'm going to do. So that's probably like 45, 50 feet, not too big of a deal, but it's a big time saver and really not, you're not saving time doing the jump, you're saving time not having to slow down for the single. So if we do a race here and they include this section, then she could save a lot of time through this little line right here. Lillian, what gear were you in? Fifth? 
This job definitely looks better in person. The iPhone just really doesn't, I mean, it, it looks pretty meaningless on the iPhone. We'll try this camera, we'll see if this depicts it a little bit better. I'm interrupting this educational piece of content to briefly thank everyone who is either subscribed to us on Instagram or supporting us on Patreon. Your generous donations are helping to keep this channel going. Specifically, I wanna thank and give a shout out to John. And I actually ran into John, we were, okay, so we're pulling into PIR season opener sitting in the long A line. This reminds me of back to school day at uh -huh. school. So you don't know what that's no, like, do you? No, let's forward to that. Look over to my right. Does that kid have a Vlog Epic shirt on? There's this kid wearing our shirt. I take like a double take. I was like, oh, that dude's got a Vlog Epic shirt on. Nice shirt, man. Can you get a shot of it? Looking good. <laughs> what's your name? John, what's up? Good to see you, man. Pretty cool experience to see somebody uh, wearing your merch. So thank you very much to John and his awesome family for supporting us on Patreon. If you wanna be awesome like John, you could also support us on Patreon or subscribe on Instagram. And what we're doing as a special way to say thank you to the people who are helping us out, we're doing not one, but two bonus videos every month. We started religiously doing this last month. So in October, the first video was the kids practicing at Jordan River followed by Lillian told the story of how she met her new friend Tim Cotter oh when he got in his golf cart and was driving away he's like then I'm not a dude I'm a sir the second video in October I sat down and had the talk with Mason you're on an 85 now you're a man now you're the man of this family now that's true the first video in November was titled Lillian Manhandling a Big Bike, which was a video about Lillian manhandling a big bike. What's the second video gonna be in November? I don't know. I literally actually, I literally actually don't know yet, but it'll be coming out, it'll be coming out next Monday. So if you want to check out those videos, support us on Patreon or subscribe on Instagram. It's almost free. It's basically nothing a month. If you can afford nothing a month, we appreciate it. I don't think I've ever hit a jump. Fifth tap. Never a fifth tap? No. Fourth tap? Yeah. Yeah? I hit jumps fourth tap all the time. Was well, that one scary? Once I like did it, no, I did it fourth wide, encased it, and it scared me. And then I shifted up, <laughs> and then I cleared all the way. I'm gonna tell you a little story about how I discovered a smart car. It was at the Washougal Regional. Everyone have a seat. This might take a minute. My bike was not running good. It was sputtering. It looks rich, if anything, but that's not. That's not going to cause it to pop like that. Josh was trying to figure out the problem, so he swapped carbs, and I had a smart car. He put that on. And that wasn't the problem, but I rode with a smart car, and it was amazing. And then I came to Utah with a smart car and did a race. And it felt like I was riding in, like, at sea level. Because normally when I ride here with the stock carburetor, my bike takes forever to get going and get into the power band. And then here with the smart car, it was so much better. And I love that thing so much. So let's say if we put a regular carb on and blindfolded you and then put a smart carb on, you would be able to tell the difference? Yeah. What's the difference? What would you notice? Just how the bike runs. Um, the crisper? It's more, yeah, it's more crisp. It doesn't. It reacts faster? It, yeah, it reacts way faster because it's not jetted the stock carb isn't jetted for here and even if it is it's still kind of i feel like lacks power but the smart carb is just hmm. very good yeah so you were running a smart carb all the way until loretta's then we gave 
it back. Josh we gave their smart card back and then you had to have one well yeah cuz uh, you know can't handle my bike lacking power cuz not fair it's like, well, once you have something and you realize how good it is, yeah. you can't, like, go back to not having it. Personally, if I were to get, if you guys were to get a bike, it, the two mods I'd say to do is the smart car and the, um, your suspension, if you got a two-stroke. And I just want to say thank you to Smart Carb for giving me one for Loretta's.